Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel RF Design Basics. In this video, we will do nodal voltage analysis for a sinusoidal voltage source and current source and we will find out what is the voltage across this 1 ohm resistor as per the question determined V0 in the circuit. So first of all, to do the nodal voltage analysis, we should have the nodal voltage. Here, if I redraw the circuit between these two terminals, since these two terminals are same and these are also same, so I can redraw the circuit so that we will have connecting branches at the nodes and then we will write the KCL for that node. So let us redraw the circuit and also find out what is the corresponding reactance of the capacitor and the inductor. So when we redraw, we have these two components directly connected from here and here. So this is a 1 ohm resistor and voltage across this is V0. Then we have an inductor which is 2 Henry and a resistor which is 6 ohm. Let us calculate the values of voltage source and current source in the phasor form. So this is voltage source. When you calculate this in phasor form, it will be, since it is 32 sin 40, so sin can be converted into cos as 32 cos 40 minus 90 degree, which in phasor form will be 32 angle minus 90 degree. So we can write that here as the source 32 angle minus 90 degree. The resistance will remain same 4 ohm and 6 ohm here and in this case 1 ohm. For the capacitor let us convert this value for the given frequency and frequency is omega equal to 4. This 4 cos 40 can be written as 4 angle 0 degree because there is no phi involved in this. So phase is 0 degree. So omega is equal to 4 radian per second. Use that to calculate the reactance of capacitor and inductor. So 1 by 12 Faraday can be converted into 1 by j omega c so 1 by j into omega, omega is 4 and capacitor is, capacitance is 1 by 12, it's minus 3j ohm. So we can write minus 3j ohm for this. Similarly for 2 Henry, we can directly take j omega L. So j into omega omega is 4, j into 4 into 2. So it will become 8j ohm. So we can write 8j ohm in place of 2 Henry. Now we will apply the nodal voltage analysis at this node. So this node and this node both are same. So when you apply, we have to take all the current which is incoming to this and addition will be 0. So let's take these four incoming currents. So incoming currents from here will be, this is at higher potential, so I'll take 32 angle minus 90 degree minus potential here is V0 as given here. So V0 divided by the impedance. Impedance is 4 minus 3J. So incoming current from this branch is given by this. Then incoming current from the 1 ohm resistor will be, since we are taking direction from reference to this, so it will be 0 minus V0, so 0 minus V0 divided by 1, impedance is 1, plus this is also incoming, so 4 angle 0 is incoming. This is the current already given in terms of current source, so I can directly write 4 angle 0 current is incoming and the fourth incoming current will be from this 
impedance which is 6 plus 8j. So here this is reference potential V equal to 0. So 0 minus V0. The potential here is V0. So I can write 0 minus V0 divided by 6 plus 8j equal to 0. Which can be simplified as 32 angle minus 90 is minus 32j divided by 4 minus 3j. Then minus v0 by this, minus v0 by 1 and minus v0 by this. I can directly take minus v0 common because it is there in all the terms. <coughs> then it is 1 by 4 minus 3j plus 1 if I take this 1. Here if I take 1 by 6 plus 8j then plus 4 equal to 0. So let's calculate this. So one by one we will calculate. We have the minus 32j by 4 minus 3j plus 4 which is constant term. So let's calculate that first. We have minus 32j divided by 4 minus 3j plus 4 plus 4 this is equal to 7.84 so I can write 7.84 minus 5.12j minus v0 into now we will calculate this so it is 1 divided by 4 minus 3j plus 1 plus 1 by 6 plus 8i equal to 1.22 plus 0 0.04j equal to 0. So V0 is 7.84 minus 5.12 J divided by 1.22 plus 0 0.04 J. So you can calculate as 7.84 minus 5.12 J divided by whatever answer we had. So this is equal to 6.28 minus 4.4j. Let us directly convert this into R angle theta. So the answer is 7.67 angle minus 35.02. So V naught can be written as while converting back to time domain magnitude is 7.67 then we can write cos omega t omega was 4 4 t minus angle 35.02 so omega t plus 5 so angle is minus 35.02 degree so this will be your answer thank you